In the seven rules of storytelling, I, I talk about how I use storytelling in my leadership coaching. And the rules are things, I mean, I can, I can go through the rules. The rules are, the first rule of storytelling to me is self-knowledge. Know yourself. Great leaders know themselves. And effective leaders know themselves. Who we are and what we stand for is the point of departure. And after that, I think we have to understand how to tell authentic stories. An authentic story is a story that we live and embody every day. It's not a story of manipulation at all. It's a story of, it's a story of who I am and what I believe that, that I live and I, that I put into practice every day. And then we talk about some of the other rules. I think one of, one of the things that leaders do is they keep their stories simple. Again, the rules are going to sound very easy, but it's, it's always a balance. I think stories are simple, but they shouldn't be too simple. So we have exercises that work on how do you tell a simple, straightforward story from the heart. I think the stories have to be personal. They have to be personal, but not too personal. A story that's too personal I call a self-absorbed story. A story that's personal and not self-absorbed is a story where you reveal yourself. Okay? For example, somebody like Margaret Thatcher who talked about her childhood and what she learned in her childhood as the child of middle class shopkeepers. Jack Welch talking about what he learned about being competitive from his mother when he was a child. These are personal stories. Barack Obama talking about the need to change health care in America because of what he learned when he watched his mother die of cancer and what he learned about the American health system and what he learned about the uh, insurance companies in America. These are stories where the speaker is taking us in a place where he connects with us emotionally. He connects with us emotionally by telling his personal stories. This is the most powerful form of communication that an individual can use. So I talk about personalizing stories, simplifying stories, and projecting. I think you know, great leaders project us into places that we didn't even know existed. I think a good example of that is Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs inspired the people bringing out the Macintosh by saying, you know, we're going we're to change the world of computing. We're going to put a dent in the universe. This is where we're going. And he gave them a vision, what I call a future story, that projects them into somewhere that they couldn't really go on their own. I think leaders are really good at doing this. Somebody like Martin Luther King projected black Americans into a world of hope that they probably didn't know existed before. This is what I call projection. So, you know, I go back to the seven rules, if I can sum them up. There's the rule of self-knowledge. There's the rule of authenticity. There's the rule of engagement, how you engage others in your stories. There's the rule of being simple, the, the rule of being personal, personalizing stories, and projecting, projecting. Project people into a bigger world. Project yourself and your followers into a bigger world. And the seventh rule is just make it a lifelong journey. I think the effective leaders that I've seen and that I've worked with are people who reprocess their experience and learn throughout their whole lives and keep learning about themselves, keep rediscovering things from their past and keep reprocessing the present so that they're constantly learning and it's a, it's a lifelong journey. And that's what leaders do. Leaders learn from their experience, process their experience, understand themselves and who they are, and they're on a lifelong journey that never ends.